Hi, today I'll show you how to build an increment database button in Notion. So it's a button that when clicked will add one to any number in your database. You can use this for tracking habits, counting inventory items or sales, any situation where you need to quickly tally a number. For example, here it is in a habit tracker. I've got a plus database button that increases my habit counter by one every time I click it. And I've also added a minus button to undo any accidental taps. There's also a reset button at the top here that sets all counters back to zero. And this is what I'll show you how to create. As a bonus at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can log today's total into a separate daily tracker database. So when I click this record button, you can see it takes the total of the counter and records it in another database. And I'm showing it here in the calendar view. A better way to view this is in another example I have, which is a market stall sales tracker. I just click the increment database button every time I make a sale of a certain size t-shirt. And then at the end of the day, I click record to record the daily sales in the tracker database. So let me show you how to create this. Here I have a simple database with habit and number properties. So I want to add a button and edit the automation. Then click on new action and edit properties. And we want to edit the number properties. And for this number property, we want to use a custom formula. And in this formula, use this page to get the record you clicked the button in. Then put a dot and type in number to get the number properties. So now you have the number from the record you clicked in. You simply want to plus one. Remember to save, give the button a label, and I like to use emojis for my buttons. Then add a property title and icon and check it works. So you can see the button works, pressing it adds one to the number. The easiest way to create the minus button is to duplicate this property. Then edit the name and icon, then edit automation, click on the formula and simply replace the plus sign with a minus sign. Remember to save, change the label and you have both buttons that work. And now for the bonus section, how to record your daily counts in a separate database. To demo this, I'll create a tracker database with a date property, number property, and a relation back to the counter database. And I'll add this relation as a two-way relation. So that's the database set up. Next, we want to add a new button to the counter database. Add a label. And, and this time you select add page two, and for the database, you select the new tracker database. You want to set the date property to the date you selected the button, so select date triggered. And for the number property, select edit as formula. And again, we'll use this page dot number to pick up the number value from the counter database. You do have the option to automatically create a title for this new record. I'm going to set the title as the date the button was triggered plus the habit. I'm using the format date function for the date and this page dot name to get the habit name. Finally, I relate this new record back to the counter database. You don't need to do this, but it'll make it easier for you in the future if you want to create some stats. 
So such as comparing this week to last week, seeing your totals for the week, the month, etc. To set up the relation, simply edit the counter relation property and select this page. All you need to do now is rename the button property and that's it done. The button will now record your daily tally. All that remains to be done now is to tidy it up. And I like to set the databases as pages and add a view to the counter database in a callout. And I set the, the view to the counter database as a list view showing the habit buttons and number properties. Then I put the callout in a column and adjust the width. Finally, if you want a button that resets all counters to zero, add a button to the page, set the name and icon, click new action and edit pages in, and for the database, select the counter database. Edit the number property and set the value to zero. And that's it, done. If you like this video and would like to see some more Notion tutorials, please click the subscribe button. Thanks.